hello and welcome to my youtube channel powerpoint university in this tutorial i am going to show you how to create four step 3d pyramid in powerpoint you can see there are four steps a b c and d and the description is given to the right side so let's start how to do this in powerpoint add a new slide go to insert shapes select a triangle draw the triangle and make the height as 5.5 and width is 6.2 align it to the center remove the outline go to format and just make it somewhat transparency level press ctrl d make it one more and just keep it aside for later use press ctrl d one more time and tilt it so that I'm just going to cut the the left side of the triangle zoom it and align it properly alignment is very important here otherwise it may the design may not look good and increase the size select this triangle and then the next triangle go to format merge shape and say subtract bring this triangle here so send to back I'm just going to make a duplicate slide for later use go to insert shapes and select a rectangle and draw the small kind of bar make it no outline and then you can tilt it this is I'm tilting towards right press ctrl D again tilt it towards left maybe you can reduce the size of this little bit down and you can further tilt it to the left press ctrl D one more time and this is for the third again this tilt towards right I'm duplicating again the slide select the triangle and then the rectangles go to format and say fragment and just select this one one two three and four parts copy it go to new slide and paste it there all right so you got a uh, different four shapes here now go to the slide again the previous slide and select this one the half which we have cut before and we are going to do the same fragment it copy this and come to the last slide and paste it align it properly so you can see that the 3d shape is is created go to insert shapes and select a rectangle this is to give the depth for the triangle give some dark blue color edit points zoom it further again edit points and then using the dots just adjust it so that this will give a depth for our pyramid
yeah you can see again you have to do similarly for the the above portions as well make it send to back You have to align it properly otherwise uh, it may not look good you have to spend a little bit time here and this is also sent to back adjust it properly And this is for the last one. Again, edit points. Sorry for that. I have set to the wrong one, so again correct it. And send this to back as well. See, you can see it's almost uh, we are ready with uh, the depth then I'm just going to give some colors so what are the transparency level before I have created I'm just going to remove and I'm going to give some different color combinations here and this also I'm just going to give the same color and then I'm go just going to increase the, the shade there go to customs and just make it more darker shade and do for the rest of the portions use some nice color combination first change the color I have not changed the color here so I have to go back again change the color and then come to the format uh, this one more colors and go to custom and change it the last one I'm making it maybe uh, orange And this is also a, a dark orange now. Yeah, so we have completed the colors. Now I'm just going to give the background color of the slide so you can just select any color. Bring it aside and I'm just going to add the text. Go to insert text and just type A, B, C, D or 1, 2, 3, 4.
so complete the ABCD and then we are going to group the objects select the object and right mouse click group it or you can just say press ctrl G to group it and I'm just going to add some description here for that use the oval shape and use the same color and add some description here group this object and then you can just press ctrl D and just make it four descriptions with different colors I'm going to add a line here, uh, one uh, rectangle, make it no outline and give a, a light gray color. Press Ctrl D and make it uh, for the others as well. So I'm just going to make it three lines or three bars. and send it to back now it's time to give the animation first select the portion A and give the wipe effect and start from left and then for the description also I'm going to use only the wipe animation start from left and then the bar and this make it after previous and I'm just going to select the bar one yeah and this also wipe from left and after previous so let's see A then B on click only is happening so I have to make this one also after previous so the A description comes then B the bar comes and then the description so similarly you have to do the same thing for the rest of the objects follow the same pattern the first the object then the description and then the bar So A description B description 
C description and the last one which is D wipe and then I'm going to give the bar from bottom after previous and then the last one which is wipe from left so let's see how it looks now A B C description and D that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye